No, seriously, it's been forever. Do you agree with the GM, Stan? I agree with them. And if you notice, they polled him on a lot of other things, too. They did. And who was number one in the majority of the categories? Skip? I don't know. You do know! I, I I got a whole bunch of notes here about number one and some other categories. Well, you must have been on that yak last yeah, night. You ain't steady like you supposed to. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> LeBron, he, uh, uh, best on the court. All that stuff. Mm -hmm. Skip, look, here's the thing. He loses mm. Kyrie. I think the MVP has a lot to do about narratives. If you look at Kevin Durant, he left Russ. Mm -hmm. Oh, Paul Russ, Paul Russ, what's Russ gonna do now? Mm -hmm. they're, let, they're left for dead. Yep. 31, 10, and 10, he wins the MVP. If you remember when LeBron first went to Miami, he really should have won it that year, but they gave mm -hmm. it to D Rose. Yep. Know, and then LeBron won it back to back years. He's gonna be asked to do more for the simple fact he lost Kyrie. Now, they do get Isaiah Thomas back in return, but he's gone until January. So he's gonna be on the, uh, on the court. I'm not going to say more. I'm just going to say he's going to be asked to do more because he's going to have to shoulder more of the burden of scoring. Now, we know he's going to get them assists. That's what he do. He always leads his team in assists. Mm. Going to be probably, you know, second or third in rebounding. They're talking about moving Kevin Love to center, bringing mm -hmm. double T off the bench. So LeBron going to probably be number two in rebounding. You know he's going to get you 26. Mm. So I'm thinking he's going to probably do something like 26, 10, and 8. Mm-hmm. I mean, that'd be a customary. That's, that's just typical for him, Skip. Because the reason why, nobody else. Where was Kawhi? Where did Kawhi finish? In what? MVP voting. That's what we talking about. I don't really care. You do know. They say. Yeah. What they say goes. It, it will not go. Yes, it will. Did it go last year? Nope. He finished third. Mm -hmm. Finished third. Mm -hmm. Who's the best? Who's the best small forward, Skip? By a wide margin. Seriously? Yeah. Kawhi Leonard. No, he's not. That's not, not what by they a wide say. margin, but he's the best. But that's not what the general manager said. Oh, well, I don't care what they yeah, say. Yeah, you, you know how many get. bad draft picks they make every year don't after do that, year Skip. after year? Don't do that, Skip. Well, I'm not doing it. They the, just do it. They do it. LeBron James will win the MVP mm -hmm. because I believe. Now, KD's going to get because they remember what KD did in the finals, but they can't overlook that triple double that LeBron mm -hmm. threw up also. Mm -hmm. They're like, this man threw up a triple double playing those kind of minutes. Mm -hmm. Imagine when now that we got Jay Crowder, we got Jeff Green that can take some of those minutes away from LeBron. Because he's going to play at five, you know, when he played at four position. Woo! Mm. Woo! Mm. Skip. Mm. You in a heap of trouble. In a heap of trouble. The East is in a, in a, in a, in a world of hurt. Oh, okay. So, I told you one year ago about right now that Russell Westbrook would win the MVP and he would average a triple double for the whole regular season. Right? Right. So, I'm here now to tell you. Okay, I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. Kawhi Leonard is going to win his first MVP. This is going, last year was his breakout year. This is his breakthrough year. But I'm going to give you one big thing. If LeBron does break through and win this year after five years of not winning it, it would be highly impressive because no one has ever won it in their 15th NBA season. No one has won it in their 14th NBA season, except for Carl Malone, and that was in a short, a strike shortened season, which was 50 games back in 1999. So I'm not even going to count that. Michael won in his 13th, Michael Jordan won his 13th NBA season at age 34 in 1998, a year I covered the Bulls. It was extraordinary. And I do think LeBron has a shot this year because voters are just, they give him a pass. They love him. They, they want give him, him to be. Give him a pass on yeah, what? On everything he says and does that hurts his basketball team. Like, I don't have enough help. We're top heavy as you know what. And they were. Yeah. You know? And. So maybe on career achievement, he's got a shot. Oh, my goodness, Just on career kid, you achievement. Need to stop. Maybe on sympathy vote, he's got a shot here because I think a lot of the people who vote here are starting to, to think it's just pathetic that poor LeBron James, he's now lost five finals, and he's going to probably lose a sixth final, right? And so just on the sympathy vote, I think he's got a shot. And I think it would just be a good story. People are going to get... It's it's like Saquon Barkley. Oh, he's the front runner because of what? And I think LeBron's going to be the front runner going in because of what? Because I got a bunch of questions to ask here. Well, let me First ask all, them for you then. Go yeah, ahead. All right. So yesterday, you told me that you love the new All Star system of I Apples do because you think the East is all time pathetic. Did you say that yes, it is the starless I, East? Yes. So how can we have an MVP who gets to play in the East? It, he, he should be disqualified because of his lack of competition in the East. Well, he not. It's so much harder for Kawhi to win it in the West because his 
his degree of difficulty is much higher than the East, and you told me did that. Th did Tom Brady win the MVP playing in the AFC East? So? Okay, but That's not so, like a whole conference that's pathetic. Do, do they not play the West? A little bit, but not a lot. Okay, okay then. Yeah. Okay. I mean, but they play the East a whole lot more. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. So shouldn't he be disqualified, Shannon Sharp, Magic Johnson, by your argument? Magic Johnson I'm turning played your in, argument against you. Magic Johnson it's played biting in the West. you right on the behind. Magic Johnson played in the West. Okay, but so so what? It was What's terrible back then. Okay, it wasn't terrible. It, it was. wasn't like this. It wasn't this kind no, of inequality. No, no, we, we've, we've never seen we've anything never like seen this. We've never seen anything like this. And then I, th this is the question that just irks me. It just like it hurts me to my soul. How can we be pushing someone to be an MVP who for the last three years readily admitted he needed a closer and he deferred to Kyrie Irving in the clutch every time? He didn't defer. Really? He didn't, no, Skip. And that's your MVP be, candidate? Being, being the, what? Being the great teammate that he oh, is. Oh, so he's Being unselfish. Teammate. That he was willing to mm -hmm. set a step aside. Yeah. But here's the thing. Now he doesn't have Kyrie. So uh -huh. guess what? What? Now he doesn't have Kyrie. We ain't got to worry about no closer. Mm. We're not going to be in that situation. Okay. So, by the way, the GMs were also asking another category. Who do you want to take the shot with the game on the line? And Steph ran away with that when he had 55% of the vote. Okay. And LeBron garnered all of 3% of the vote. But the so mere fact that he got votes. Not really. What, what about Kawhi? Did Kawhi get in the vote? Nobody should have Oh, no, no, no. I'm, 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 about to, I'm about to get to that. So how can we make a case for an MVP candidate mm -hmm. who just last year shot a career low 67% from the free throw line? And we're, we're trying to push him as an MVP. You're kidding me. So... There were 13 players last year who shot 500-plus free throws. By far the worst on the list. By far was LeBron James. Okay. And next up on the list in ninth spot, I'm sorry, in 12th spot, was Andrew Wiggins at 76%. So he was way ahead of LeBron at 67%. So he was the bottom of the barrel. How, it's called a free throw. Photos, and okay. you're saying, look how many shots he leaves on the table, how many points he leaves on the okay. table for his basketball let me ask you, team. Really? If you don't mind me really? asking. If you don't mind wow. me asking. I know a guy that won four MVPs and shot probably 50% mm -hmm. or lower. Yeah. Will Chamberlain. Did well, they hold that against him? Or we could do Shaq if you okay, want to Okay, yeah. Yeah, but they were completely dominant at the rim. They were unstoppable at the rim. Oh, and Bron So they, they made up for Well, he's not that unstoppable at the rim. You just told me, you told me all the time, LeBron, go to the rim because no one can stop you. Yeah. Now to make your argument, you No, no, they can't keep you from the free throw line from which he runs constantly in late game situations, as we saw late in game three last year in his house. 26, 8, and 8, which were career highs mm -hmm. in both assist and rebound. Mm -hmm. Almost 9. And he averaged 26, which he hadn't done since his second year yeah. in Miami. And by the way, LeBron went into last year's playoffs as the all-time worst three-point shooter in the history of NBA playoffs. That, and but now who, he's an MVP but who, front runner. whose three-point average is uh, worse? Michael Jordan or whew. LeBron James in the regular season? Because you, I I'm just, you do know. No. L let me continue. Okay, go ahead. Do you want to finish no, that? No, because I want you to stop with this okay. blasphemy. Okay, there's no blasphemy <laughs> going on here. So, last year, see, Kawhi Leonard, he plays in the shadows in San Antonio, and he doesn't have a big personality, and he's not the media darling that LeBron James is because LeBron's always available to the media and always says and does all the right things, and he's good copy. We, we talk about him every day on this show, and we never not talk enough. about Kawhi Leonard we because – He's a shrinking violet. He is a reluctant superstar. He doesn't want to talk to the media. They got him to talk to the media after one of the Memphis wins last year, and I was, like, shocked. Like, I didn't even know – I didn't think he could speak. That hurts him. But he was third last year in PER, player efficiency rating, in the NBA behind Russell and Kevin Durant. And his next closest teammate in PER was Pau Gasol at 43rd in the NBA. So – Kawhi plays in the West with little to no help compared to everybody else's help, right? Yeah. Russ had more help last year than Kawhi did. If, if you don't mind me asking you, in game, in game six of the, uh, the, the second round of the playoffs when Houston Rockets were playing the San Antonio Spurs and Kawhi did not play, can you tell the fans at home the final score of that ball game? What would you tell him? Skip, I'm asking you a question. What did the Heisman winner tell you? They, he didn't tell me nothing. <laughs> yeah, he did. Did you look this okay. up on your own? Okay, okay. That would no, be no, a no, first no, no. if you did. Okay, how about this here? You know, I got a can, better one for you. Can you tell the people at home when Kawhi sought out what was the San Antonio Spurs record? All I can tell the people is that 
last year in game one at Golden State against a team that is now prohibitively favored, like the all-time biggest favorite in the history of the NBA preseason, that team at home in game one of the conference finals was down 23 points to Kawhi and company when Zaza Pacheep shot stepped on Kawhi's ankle, stepped underneath Kawhi's ankle, and he nearly can, broke it and was gone for the rest of the can series you, can and playoffs. You, can you also tell the – Think p- about that. Think can, about that. Can you LeBron also- had little to no chance, but Kawhi had his team in commanding position to take over the series against the eventual champs. Can- Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First, with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.